Nvidia stock was up over 4% today, sitting at $926. Now, what I think it's crazier is Nvidia is really catching up to Apple and will soon become the second biggest company in the world. Nvidia right now is sitting at a market cap of $2.3 trillion. Apple is sitting in a market cap of $2.6 trillion at the moment. In theory, Nvidia's stock price needs to go up roughly 14, 15% to become the second biggest publicly traded company. And for Nvidia, I want to say that's not completely impossible. In the past five days, the stock alone is up over 15%. Obviously, stocks don't always go up and NVIDIA story is insane right now where we're hearing talks of bubbles and everything else. Um, we can see even after hours, the stock is up over 2% already. So in today's episode, what I want to do is first start off with just some light news impacting overall NVIDIA. Second, I want to take a closer look at the recent earnings from a semiconductor company that is really driving this after hour stock price. And third, I just want to share my overall thoughts on NVIDIA at the moment. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. So today on March 7th, NVIDIA and HP supercharged data science and generative AI on workstations. So HP is a huge provider of laptops and workstations, and they are having an overall event in Las Vegas, I believe this week, where they're showcasing a lot of their workstations and PC solutions to their investors, to their consumers, and to their sellers. And today, NVIDIA and HPE announced that NVIDIA Code X, a data processing libraries, will be integrated with HP's AI workstation solutions to turbocharge the data preparation and processing work that forms the foundation of generative AI development. Now, while this is not necessarily something that should have the stock price running, it is one of those events that could be a a great move right now for the long-term development of NVIDIA solution. And let me explain why. So they are announcing to bring in a lot of process libraries into these workstations. And these workstations are meant for engineers, for data scientists, for AI developers, for software developers. And I think by doing that, it increases the chances that in the next five, in the next 10, in the next 15 years, developers are going to continue to use NVIDIA's ecosystem. Before we go any further, I just want to say thank you all for the amazing support we are getting in this channel. We're closing in to 40,000 subs. That is insane. So if you haven't and you are enjoying the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Finally, if you want to support this channel a little bit more, check out my special offer at fool.com slash jose now back to today's episode some other news impacting nvidia right now is there are samples that nvidia is reportedly sampling sk hynix 12th layer hbm 3e memory and the hbm 3e memory is the memory that's being used for the h200 and most likely going to be used for some of the new products in the upcoming uh in the upcoming year so there's a lot of competitors here there's sk hynix there's samsung and there's micron so we are going to continue to see all these three memory companies continue to showcase to nvidia hey look you're going to need to be using our products because we are the best. Next, we do have an analyst that predicts that in 2024, NVIDIA's data center GPU business is going to be $87 billion. And remember, a few key notes here, right? This is just a GPU business. And if we take a closer look at NVIDIA's numbers in forms of revenue per quarter, when they talk about the data center, it's not just GPU, it's software, it's networking solutions. And this is just purely the GPU business. I think that is crazy. 87 billion. Um, we also kind of uh, here based on this analyst, we can see how it continues to grow on a sequential basis. Taking a closer look at just rough as at the average estimates for this fiscal year. Most analysts believe that NVIDIA's revenue will grow 80% versus 2023, which was already a crazy year, and that revenue estimates are expected to be roughly 110 billion dollars now taking a closer look at valuations pe ratio for nvidia right now is at 77 and this is why everybody's screaming bubble if we take a closer look in the next 12 months it's 37.65 not the worst thing forward one year is 31.58 so it's definitely 
interesting, the valuations that we're seeing, right? 31.58 is not that scary. But right now, this AI market is all new. So there's always risk and there is, there's always reward. And right now, one of the risks is competition, margin decrease, a slowdown in purchasing. And well, we're probably going to get a lot of comments that, hey, Jose, AI market is just getting started and everything like that. Let me just say, NVIDIA is my number one position. I am not selling any of my shares. I'm holding on. But I do understand that in the short term, there could be numerous reasons for the stock price to be impacted in both the positive and the negative way. And it's always great to understand the risk and the rewards that can come from NVIDIA. So these valuations and these PE ratios are all based on analyst expectations. Analyst expectations could either go two ways. They can be overly conservative to what the real number is going to happen in the next year or two, or they could be overhyped compared to where we are going to be a year or two. And that at the end of the day is what's going to continue to drive NVIDIA stock price, price either on the positive note or on the negative note. Now for NVIDIA though, the great thing is there are a lot of companies that are saying the same thing, that AI is here to stay one way or another. And today Broadcom did have their quarter one 2024 earnings report and there were some positive notes and that is why NVIDIA is most likely up over 2% after hours. Now Broadcom mentioned that their AI revenue quadrupled year, to, year on year to $2.3 billion during the quarter, more than offsetting the current cyclical slowdown in their other their industries. Some other things to note about Broadcom is in December, they mentioned that the AI revenue would be roughly 25% of their full year semiconductor revenue, but now they expect that to be roughly 35% of semiconductor revenue at over $10 billion. I believe the previous number was 7.5 7 billion. So right off the bat, if this is what Broadcom is seeing, and for those that are not familiar, Broadcom creates networking solutions. And these networking solutions are used very much in AI data centers and AI servers because it helps communicate all these GPUs with each other. So they are definitely a big player that's in the forefront of this AI space. And in theory, if they are seeing a bigger growth in AI demand, then that means there's more needs, more GPU supply, more GPU solutions that need to be communicating against each other, bigger AI clusters. And at the end of the day, that's really great news for NVIDIA in general. Another important note from Broadcom is while one of their biggest opportunities in the market for AI is the cloud server providers, and that has been a very bullish, big bullish case for NVIDIA, another thing that's starting to show up right now is large enterprises also are starting to increase the build of on-premise servers because they want to run AI on their own data, on their own solution, and not necessarily on cloud. So this could be another nice tailwind for NVIDIA's software solutions, for NVIDIA's hardware solution as well. So again, while we don't know where the AI market is going to be in a year or two from now, the current evidence that we're getting from all these earnings call and all these big players and capital expenditures and capital expenditure numbers, it kind of tells us or gives us the probability that AI is real right now and we're going to continue to see nvidia win big in this space final thing to mention is on monday march 8th we are going to have the gtc keynote and we're going to hear a lot about nvidia's upcoming products now i am going to do another video on this so make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe just to take a closer look at what we should expect from this event so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode take care have a good day and see you next time